Happy Friday! So that means it is Vlogmas Day 6, and I am Shayna of The Wealth Five, and I create videos to help you eliminate debt, grow your income, and build wealth. So I'm currently in the car on the way to drop off the key that I picked up yesterday from the seller for my boyfriend in Atlanta. And I told him several times, I was like, I left the key in the car, make sure that you get the key out of the car. And of course, he didn't get the key out of my car. So he calls me at 11.14 a.m. today and says, hey, I have somebody coming to do an, inspect an inspection on the house. Can you come meet me with the key? Because I forgot the key. And I'm like, boy, I got an interview at 12. So I had to rush out of the house so that I can meet him with the key. The only reason why I'm doing this is because I actually have really bad phone signal in the house. And so it's better to actually leave the house to do this phone interview. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna come meet you and then I'll just stay outside of the house and do the phone interview. So I'm five minutes away from the, the house. So I'm pulling up at the house right now. Oh, here he go. He's in the backyard. This is the key for the house. So this house he wanted to flip, but it has some issues that he's might he might, he's thinking about um, perhaps wholesaling it instead. So I think he's doing something. He has somebody over here to help him determine whether or not he should actually flip it himself, or if he's going to actually wholesale this property. But it's a really nice um, property. Well, it will be really nice once it's flipped. Um, I will show you around, but I don't know if I have time to because um, I have to do this interview. What's up? Hey. How you doing? I was telling the people how you left the key. Uh, <laughs> how I secured the contract or left the key? So why are you always focusing on the negative? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to secure this family a bag. You know, see? You better hope it worked and that we didn't get bamboozled. Oh, that is true. <laughs> you out or what? No, I'm going to stay here. So yesterday, I mentioned to you all that I got an email from a company that said, hey, would, are you, would you be interested in doing an interview? And I had applied for this job, like, I thought about a year ago. Um, and I had an in internal employee referral, and I never heard anything. So I looked through my emails, and I definitely did apply for this job on January 5th, 2019. And they just now calling me back. So, um, so yeah, so I'm having that interview at 12. It's not 11, 1145. And it's better for me to do phone interviews outside of the house because I tend to not have any phone signal when I'm in the apartment. I actually tend to have like no service or just like one signal. And I actually did get the, um, the signal booster this is it set it up in the house and everything i've had it in there for months but um it doesn't work because you have to have i think you have to have some type of signal in order for this to enhance the signal but because i have like very like minuscule signal it doesn't really work so i'm actually about to return this you put like a $50 like deposit on this and then once you return it, you get your money back. So I'm about to return this and get my money back because it ain't helped me not one bit. And so actually, I have two bars over here in this neighborhood, but while I was driving, I realized that I had a full four bars, I think, before I turned into this little cul-de-sac. So I might just go back out to that cul-de-sac and just park out there. But we have 14 minutes. Y'all want to see inside the house? See, if you followed me on Instagram, you would have already seen inside the house. So make sure that you follow me on Instagram, especially when Vlogmas is over, because I do all this on Instagram on the daily. So make sure that you follow me on Instagram. Let me go see. We got 14 minutes. I can show y'all inside the house. It's a mess. Oh, here he come right now. Um, maybe you can't. It's, look at him trying to be friendly so the people don't call the police on him. But is the door still open? Huh? Is the door still open? Is the door still open? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I come look? Yeah. Well, can we come look? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, what is that? Which 
trying to hit me. This is the property. The lights on? Well, I guess I just saw the light. This is the dining room. I don't know. Is it the dining room? That's what I've been calling it. Yeah, but I want to knock it out. This is the kitchen. And then they have like a whole mother-in-law suite. This is the garage, laundry room, bathroom, mother-in-law suite back there. Um, this is the living room. So this is the issue. There is a sunken living room. And he wants to take out this wall to extend the kitchen. But then he would have to fill up all this. But then the door would be an issue. So that would cost a whole lot of money. And then this is um, over here. What is this? Oh, oh, this is, is this the master? Oh yeah, this is the master. This is the master bedroom. And this is the master bathroom. They got cassettes. Who has cassettes of the Dixie Chicks? Interesante. What is it? I wonder if this stuff is worth money. Cassette Whitney Houston. <coughs> I'm definitely about to collect all these coins. Take that to the bank. But anyway, this is the, um, the walk-in closet. The bathroom. The bathroom also is an issue. Um... If I can find the light. Okay, there's no light, but um, there is a sunken. Let me see if I can take out my phone. It's like, oh, left my phone in the car. But it's like a sunken bathtub as well. You have to like step down about it, like a foot and a half into the bathtub. It's weird. Um, I'll turn off these lights. Even though Bay ain't paying the light bill yet, but be light conscious. This is another bathroom. Just a mess. This is another bedroom. Another bedroom. Oof. So the ideal plan is that he'll be able to flip this if it makes financial sense. Otherwise, he'll wholesale it. And we'll see what happens. But let me get back in the car and get ready or sit around, really. I don't gotta get ready. Sit around for this um, interview. It's really just a, like a, um, an initial screener interview, I guess. So I think the lady, her, she works for the company, which her title was recruiter or talent acquisition or something like that. So it's just kind of like a um, screener, nothing, nothing major. Um, actually, let me show y'all the backyard real quick before I get back in the car. Backyard, the property is huge. This is the um, garage. It's a two-car garage. Oof. The leaves are trying to assault me. All right, this is the backyard. All of this. Oh, the house might also have foundation issues. So that's what he said. Somebody's supposed to be meeting him here to check out the foundation. They have a sunroom in the back, which is really nice. But you see how huge this property is? Huge. He actually did a flip on a house in the next subdivision over last year. And he made really good money for that place. That house is worse, really, because it had, like, pet urine and stuff, like, baked in <laughs> to the, um, the flooring. It was horrible. But this should be a good little, um, investment. Let me get back in the car. So, I got back in the car and realized I missed a phone call from the one job. Well, not the same job they gave me an offer, but there's another job in Texas. Um that the recruiter 
I spoke to the recruiter. Actually, yeah, the recruiter contacted me on LinkedIn, put me in contact with them. I mentioned it to you guys yesterday very briefly, but I just received a phone call from the hiring manager, I guess, trying to set up a time to do an interview. I wrapped up the interview that I had today at noon. Um, that went pretty well. Um, it seems like an interesting role. The salary range might be doable. I have to like figure out a little bit more. It's in the DMV area. So I got to do a little bit of, of calculation on the cost of living difference. But it seems like it might be doable. And then I had that call from the woman out in Texas that um, I missed her call when I went into the house. And so I just called her back. And she's actually looking for someone to replace her. And ah, I think that's above my level. <laughs> so she's a director of a um, research center within a hospital. Right now, my initial perception is like, seems a bit much, but I don't know. <laughs> so that's that. I'm at the Target now. I'm about to return some stuff. And I also got the... Um, the return information for that signal booster so i'm gonna have to go to ups and then i'm gonna head home and i guess do some work on the real estate course we got in a lot of the items that we need to be able to record for the course next week and one of the things that we bought was a desk and so we need to put together said desk which is right here it's actually a white desk but it is um, upside down. So we're about to put it together. So of course, somebody lost the instructions. Or maybe they didn't come with instructions, I don't know. So I'm look up the instructions for how to put this thing together. See if I can find some instructions. Did you just find them? Easy to assemble a detailed instruction manual and screwdriver are provided. You don't see none of that in the box? A screwdriver? Is it in there? They gave us a screwdriver? I mean, it's probably in there. Uh-uh. Well, let's empty out the whole box. So we did not find the manual online, so we're going to try to figure it out. One of us is an engineer, so I would hope we can figure it out, but it's not me. So, it didn't come with instructions, and I had just read about this on the Amazon review, that the screws are too long. And, of course, we ruined the table by going too deep with the screws. But that's their fault, really. It's not our fault. So, this is going back to Amazon, A. Sappington. All right, well, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> well, just that quickly, it got deconstructed. But this is going back to Amazon for sure. But that's the end of Vlogmas Day 6. Catch me tomorrow to see what's going on. And I appreciate you for watching.